Now Game Pass has been just one of the biggest things Xbox has been pushing for the longest time, really trying their best to get people in that ecosystem of the Xbox gaming sphere. And you would think that you want to try to make that as accessible as possible for people to get into it at least to then experience it because once you get people's foot in the door, it's even it's easier to keep them inside the house because they're already there, right? You know, might as well have a couple of cocktails and you know some food while you're inside the house, right? That's kind of the idea when it comes to like these services that are like trying to get you at like a lower price and jump in. But for some reason right now, Microsoft's kind of thinking we don't need to do that right now right because currently at the moment microsoft has pulled the one dollar game pass trial ahead of call of duty black ops 6 launch the same thing they did for starfield back in the day as well now this actually might be somewhat beneficial in the short term but long term could potentially more detrimental to them which is something that you definitely need to take in consideration because i think when you're buying into game pass you're assuming Microsoft is definitely hoping you keep that subscription for like six months to a year or just keep on subscribing kind of like what i've been doing because well i like hopping on playing random games that xbox likes to provide right and for the price i like to play for pc gaming it's a pretty good price right uh but this was kind of interesting that uh, ign showcased recently so then they pulled the one dollar for 14 day game pass trial just ahead of the Xbox, the Black Ops 6 release right here, which I'm just kind of surprised we're like for such a major release, like a lot of people are gonna be very interested in jumping in the Game Pass for just $1 for a 14 day trial, which I'm assuming would automatically roll over to a full subscription as well, because that's, you know, how subscription services generally work, but big ups to con at the F fcc make it so that you can have a quick unsubscribe button you know shout out to the government on that one but <laughs> um it was really interesting to see like why would they do this obviously you're like instantly you're like just trying to optimize profits but i'm like wondering like is that really the best move right like obviously it's still gonna be a cheaper price to jump in at uh with the lower prices being like possibly 20 dollars for ultimate or as low as i believe uh 11.99 right now for pc game pass and for standard game pass 14.99 so you can just subscribe for that month if you just wanted to play the campaign of black ops 6 which totally make a lot of sense for people to jump in and do that uh this also could just be like a desperate ploy for them to be like we just need to get as much money as we can because like instead of having to spend 70 dollars for a game you're spending 15 bucks for a game which could be more useful if you're the kind of person who you know just wants to play the campaigns or something like that like i mentioned previously um but for i would be surprised i'm surprised that xbox isn't really trying to push this even more right sticking with the one dollar option really just because xbox has huge ambitions for game pass like really really big ambitions for game pass kind of almost unrealistically huge expectations here uh one of these articles uh previously back in february that we actually reported here on the channel talked about how there were 34 million subscribers at the time i believe this is back in february yeah, february of 2024 34 million people are subscribed to Game Pass, which are like, that's a lot of people, right? And it's actually an improvement, a 36% improvement from 25 million from the previous two year, more than two years ago uh, at, that, at that time. So it'd be well, about late 21, early 2022, uh, about how many people were subscribed to Xbox Game Pass, which is, you go, okay, well, it's growing. Things are growing up. That's an improvement, right? Well, there are some very ambitious, um, <laughs> Uh, targets that Xbox is looking to hit when it comes to Game Pass, which kind of might give you a hint of how profitable Game Pass really is, because pretty much all the major publisher studio heads, publisher heads out there, like uh, I believe Ubisoft has come out of this, we know that Jim Ryan has come out and say about this as well, that they just can't see how uh, Game Pass could be a profitable, beneficial thing to gaming as a whole, but because it's just so, it's such a unique new, unique new thing within gaming. Uh, but so, cited here specifically saying it's clear that Microsoft is a ways away from hitting its ambitious goals of 100 million Game Pass subscribers by 2030, targeted a 73% growth rate for Xbox Game Pass subscriptions for a single fiscal year ending by 2022, only managed to hit 28%. So a massive difference when it comes to what uh, they wanted to hit and what they actually got when it came to Game Pass subscribers. But that's not it. Like, it actually goes 
even higher than that. Just a few months later in May of this year, it was reported by Forbes talking about how like that well of people that can subscribe to Game Pass is shrinking. I mean, obviously as it grows, it will shrink about how many new subscribers you can get. But one thing they mentioned here specifically was back in uh, fiscal year of 22, court documents said Microsoft expected 110 million Game Pass subscribers by 2030. And most recently, analyst Michael Patcher predict 200 million by 2034. As in like 200 million people subscribing to Game Pass within 10 years. When you think about the entire world that Microsoft provides gaming for, that like, it wouldn't be that crazy of a goal to reach 200 million subscribers. But the thing is that like majority of the audience for Xbox products are based in the United States and trying to reach 200 million with a main US based audience is well damn near impossible because if you just look at the population chart or how many people live in the United States right now, it's just over 330 million people compared to the 8 billion that are in the world right now utilizing this website for like it's a United States Census of Bureau. So these stats are legit legitimate here. Like you're kind of expecting like to really grow a lot when it comes to Game Pass as a whole. And that's why they're kind of circling back over here to the Game Pass stuff when it comes to uh, Black Ops, right? Utilizing that as the main source that are looking to push this uh, new service out to people. And, but I'm surprised they take away the $1 trial just to get people, you know, an opportunity to just, it's almost carefree at that point, like a dollar to sign up to play Black Ops 6. Everybody's gonna be doing it. They'll sign in the Game Pass. How many, what percentage of people do you think will like forget to unsubscribe by the 14 days? I don't know, probably like five, 10%. But if you add that for Black Ops 6 population numbers, that's a lot of people. And this Forbes article really does do a great job of kind of outlining like where Xbox could actually grow, right? When it comes to Game Pass side of things. Like they say the console base is kind of where you find a lot of the Xbox users, right? And Microsoft users are pretty much mainly on the Xbox console itself. But we've seen that Xbox has deprioritized console sales and pushing the console out there. Just because we know that the Xbox has struggled ever since the Xbox One to even get close to second place when it comes to the amount of consoles being sold. Like Nintendo is just absolutely dominating everybody with the Switch. And then you had Sony in a distant second place. And then third place is Xbox. And Phil Spencer's even acknowledged that like, yeah, we're gonna be stuck in third place. And there's not really a whole lot we can do as that market's been filled with people who follow those consoles, right? So where else could they grow? Mainly it's gonna be PC and mobile are the two main locations of where they're gonna see a lot of growth when it comes to potential new subscribers for Xbox and people getting within the Xbox ecosystem. Cause you gotta think about the majority of people out there are using a Windows based computer, which is a Microsoft software, obviously. Obviously yes, yeah, I know, yes, there, there's, there's Apple, there's Mac, but no one's gaming on a Mac. If you are, I'm sorry that you have to do so. Um, but So like the PC gaming is a massive market that hasn't really been tapped only recently by Xbox. And also with cloud gaming, they're really pushing that as well. Uh, but it hasn't really been utilized as best as it could, but I think just the lack of technology for that at the moment right now. Okay, I'm running back to the beginning of the title of this video. It's like, I just find it surprising that Xbox would limit the ease of access for their Game Pass subscriptions, which is like their main thing that they want to get people involved with. And like I said, they did the same thing uh, just last year when it came to the Starfield release. And I'm curious if that subscriber base could have grown more in by February of 24 when it was reported to possibly up to 40 million, maybe even 50 million, if you didn't remove the 14 day $1 trial. Cause I, you know there's gonna be so many people out there who are just gonna forget to unsubscribe or maybe subscribe for the dollar and they realize it's a great service and they go, well, okay, well, maybe we'll just stick in and just keep up with the Xbox Game Pass until uh, I don't wanna do it anymore. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of different things you could do, but I, I'm more about like, I would just think it'd be makes, make a lot of sense to reduce the amount of barriers to get people into Game Pass. That's the hardest thing to get people into it. But of course, you know, I'm not a CEO. I'm just a dude who does social media online. If you enjoyed this type of video, like, subscribe, it's always appreciated. Check out content for me if you missed it recently, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.